Hey guys, welcome back to another ILKB at home workout. Let's start that jog in three, two, and one, like jog in place. Hey everybody, it's me, your trainer John, leading you through today's workout. You're gonna continue nice, light, and easy in that light jog in place. What's gonna happen during the jogging portion of today's workout is I'm going to yell mountain climb. You're gonna stop, you're gonna drop, you're gonna give me twisting mountain climbers, okay? We have three opportunities to try it out today. Let's get ready to do that first one. And mountain climb. Hit that high palm plank. You want to twist and turn. You're pointing that right knee to your left elbow, left knee to the right. Twist and turn. Get those obliques working here, guys. Okay? Continue to work those twisting mountain climbers. You're going to come back to that jog in place in three, two, and one. Back to your life. Jog in place. Okay, that was great, guys. So remember when you're doing those twisting mountain climbers, your shoulders, your back, and hips stay in line. Again, twist and turn. Point the right knee towards your left elbow. And then the same thing, left knee points to the right. Your second chance is coming up in three, two, one. Mountain climb. Stop, drop, guys. Go in that high palm plank position. Twist and turn. Again, right knee to left elbow. Left knee to right. Twist and turn it out, y'all. Keep on working here. Just a few more seconds. We're going back to that last time for your jog in place. And one more set of twisting mountain climbers in three, two, and one. Back up to your feet, light jog in place. We got one final set of those twisting mountain climbers to complete, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get ready and right to it in three, two, and one. Mountain climb, y'all. Here we are. Stop, drop, and mountain climb it out. Wonderful, 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 guys. Okay, great job to start things off for today. Let's come on up. Give me some high knees in place in three, two, one. Stand up. Guys, high knees. Nice and easy. Not too fast. Not too slow. Okay, you see I have my palms out in front of me to make sure my high knees are honest. You want to pick those knees up a lot higher than you did when you were jogging in place. Having them out at your waist level really kind of ensures those knees are coming up. You don't got to go too fast. Just pick those knees up. It is your high knee in place. Let's get ready. Slow it down. Squat it out in three, two, one. Slow it down, guys. Give me your standard squats, okay? Get those thighs parallel to your floors. Nice and easy. Working those legs out. You don't want to go too deep into your squat, guys, okay? It's all about working and protecting our knees, but you wanna really feel it right there in those quads, your thigh, those leg muscles there. Also your glutes, very, very good for your glutes, guys. Squat it out. You got seven more seconds, and then you're gonna give me one and one, folks, all right? Let's hold it nice and low in three, two, one. Here we go. One surrender, one jump squat. Come back down, one surrender. One jump squat, guys. All right, guys, so again, one knee down, other knee down, okay, for that surrender. When you come to that, go back to your low squat, jump it on up, bend your knees as you land, maybe hold it for a second before you go into your next set of your one surrender and one jump squat. One surrender and one jump squat. You don't have to go too high in the jump squat, guys. Okay, nice and easy. And remember, always bend your knees as you land. Few more seconds here for that one surrender and that one jump squat, guys. Let's get ready in three, in two, and one. High knees, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, y'all. Okay, we're back to it. You're bringing those knees up nice and high. Okay, guys, let's go pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. Lean back a little bit, focus on, engage your core. Don't worry, you're gonna be able to catch your breath, guys, okay? You're gonna be catching your breath, slowing it down, squatting it out in three, Two and one, back to your standard squats, guys. Regular squats, again, one more time. Getting those thighs parallel to your floors and squeezing at the top. Gentle now, okay guys, work your standard squats, okay? Catch your breath here too, it is a slower exercise. Okay, before we're gonna ramp things up one more time with your burpees this time, guys, okay? So let's get ready. You're gonna turn that one surrender into that one squat, guys. Instead of doing that, we have our burpees, okay? And those are happening in three, two, one. Burpees, y'all, woo! From those squats into your burpees. Full burpee, jump up, palm down, jump out, jump in, jump up, rinse and repeat. Okay, guys, nice and easy here. Good job, really ramping it up. Okay, a few more seconds, guys. Give me as many more burpees as you can muster before you hit that high pump plank for your flyaway push-ups. In three, two, and one. Here we go, guys. 
I'll show you from the toe, it's one push up, and then you open up to a side plank, come back, another push up, and then you open up to the other side. Okay, nice and easy there, folks. Down, up, side plank, down, up, and side plank. Now, of course, you can do the push up from your knees if you have to, but I'd like all of you guys to try to work and slowly open up to your side planks while you're up on your toes. Okay, if you can't, stay on the knees. That's fine. It's all about progression. You're getting stronger every single workout, y'all. Okay, just a few more seconds here. On your backs, we're gonna work runner sit-ups in three, two, and one, guys. Here we are. Now as you come up, twist at the top, twist at the top. Okay, just like you did with those twisting mountain climbers, you're bringing the right knee to the left elbow. When you come down and come up, same thing, left knee goes to the right. Okay, guys, almost looks like you're running from a horizontal position, y'all, okay? So again, exhale as you come up, inhale on the way back down. Exhale as you come up, inhale on the way back down. A few more seconds, guys, a few more seconds here. Keep on working it out, keep on working it out, y'all. Okay, here we are, good job. Now let's go to standard sit-ups in three, two, and one, standard sit-ups. No leg work here, guys. Exhale as you come up, inhale on the way back down. Try to keep those shoulder blades up and off your floors, all right? You wanna keep your core engaged. Okay, so if you wanna throw a jab cross at the top, you certainly may. It's just your standard, regular sit-ups, guys. It's a great exercise, again, to work those abs. Slow and steady, exhale as you come up. Inhale on that way back down. We are getting ready, folks, to go to some mountain climbers, y'all, okay? So let's get ready to mountain climbing out. Regular mountain climbers in three, two, and one, guys. Flip it over. Standard mountain climbers. If you want to be extra and kind of challenge yourself and maybe do a couple of regular, a couple of twisting, that's up to you, okay? But it's mountain climb time. So keep on working it here. Pump those knees up, y'all, as high as you can. If you're doing the standard, get those twisting happening in. Great job, guys. Let's get ready. You're already down there. Let's turn these regular mountain climbers one more time into the flyaway push-up. In three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Down. Up and side plank, down, up and side plank. Okay, y'all? Just like that, nice and easy. Down, up, side plank, down, up and side plank. Slow and steady, okay? If you gotta stop and catch your breath either on your plank position with both palms down or on either side, you certainly may. Just keep it moving though, guys. Don't take too long of a break because we're turning those flyaway push-ups into those runner sit-ups in three, in two, and one. Here we go, guys. Runner sit-up, runner sit-up, runner sit-up, y'all. Okay, so again, you're exhaling as you come up, you're inhaling on the way back down. Get that little twist at the top, though. Get that twist at the top, okay? A few more seconds here for your runner sit-ups, y'all. Got about 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna turn the runners into your standard. Now, if you're feeling really tired, the legs are tired for whatever reason, of course, give me your standard. But those are coming up next. Just a regular run of the mill standard, good old fashioned sit ups in three, two, one. Regular sit ups, guys. Regular sit ups. Okay, again, leg straight, bent knee. If you wanna add the jab cross at the top, whatever works for you guys, keep it moving, work those ab muscles out. Okay, guys, so we're doing our standard sit ups. Going up and down, again, one more time, try to keep those shoulder blades up when you get down there, okay? So you don't wanna go completely flat on your backs. We're gonna get ready, guys, though. We're turning those regular sit-ups into your regular mountain climbers in three, two, one. Flip them on over, guys, like that protein pancake. And one more time, regular standard mountain climbers. Pump those knees up, pump them up, pump them up, pump them up, y'all. You're doing great, you're doing amazing, guys. Come on, let's work it, let's work it. Let's work it, y'all, okay? Few more seconds here, few more seconds here. Keep on working those regular mountain climbers. Try to keep your shoulders back and hips in line, airways clear, looking forward, taking those nice deep breaths. We're gonna be turning those mountain climbers into our standard burpee in three, two, one. Regular burpee time, guys, come on, you know the drill. Wouldn't be an ILKB warm up without our burpee, okay, y'all? Standard burpees, y'all. Palms down, jump out, jump in, jump up. Palms down, jump out, jump in, jump up. Slow and steady, guys, okay? We're gonna take it back to an exercise we did earlier to kind of slow things down in just a little bit, okay, y'all? So we're gonna go ahead, keep working those regular burpees, guys. Okay, then I want that one surrender and one jump squat. I'm throwing it back in here, y'all, okay? So get that last burpee in, low squat hold. I want one surrender and then one jump squat. 
okay? One surrender, and then one jump squat. Here, guys, we're giving our wrists a little bit of a breather before we go into our next set of exercises, all right? So give me that one surrender into that one jump squat. You have just over 10 seconds remaining, and then, of course, we're gonna be working those tricep muscles, all right? So one of my favorite versions of the push-up is our diamond push-ups, y'all. So let's get ready in three, in two, and one diamond push-up. Make that diamond shape with your hands. Put them directly below your chest, okay, right by your sternum, okay, not too high up. Okay, bring it down and up, down and up, y'all, okay? Nice and easy. Feel that weight coming down on those tricep muscles. Okay, go on the knees if you have to. Make sure the hips come down. Just by changing the position of our hands here with this push-up, you can focus on and work on another part of your body. Here, we're working on our triceps. Just a few more seconds though. I want you to come up, take a breather, right side palm plank in three, two, and one, guys. Woof. Take a breather, guys. Now, you put your palm down. Okay, put the left hand up. You can kickstand, taking that left foot, bringing it in front of the right knee, or if you wanna go full on plank, you certainly may. Okay, guys, you're holding it here for just a few more seconds. Keep it going. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, guys, now we're going to the left side in three, two, one, left side now, same deal. Plank it on the other side. You may notice that one side is stronger than the other, okay? So it's more difficult on the weaker side. If you have to do the kickstand, you can put that right leg in front of your left knee. Kind of hold it up there, y'all. Nice and easy, slow and steady. A few more seconds here, guys. Keep on working that side plank. We're gonna go into some reverse crunches. Taking a seat, kicking out, kicking in. In three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Now, palms by your sides. Kick those legs out, bring them in. Kick them out, bring them in. You can also go hands free, but notice my feet are not touching the floor. Okay, guys, so kick it out, kick it in, kick it out, kick it in. Go fast, go slow, hand out to the side, up to you. All right, keep working those reverse crunches, y'all. Keep on working it here, keep on working it here. We're gonna do it from the top. So hopefully you, I gave your wrist a little bit of a breather here, a little bit of a break. Second set, diamond push-ups in three, two, and one. Diamond push-ups, y'all, come on, let's work it. Diamond push-up time, diamond push-up time. Okay, again, keep those palms. They should be kind of like here, directly below your chest. Shouldn't be too high up in front of your face. It should be right about here. So as you go down, you can bring your weight down on those triceps. Okay, slow and steady. This is a more difficult version of that push-up, but triceps are notoriously hard to work out. So give me as many as you're able to do. Five more seconds before you open up to that side plank in three, two, one, right or left, doesn't matter. We're gonna work both sides, okay? So if you're on the right side, right palm down, left hand up, okay? Or left hand down, right palm up. Either way, take a nice, easy breath, okay? Kind of an active rest, try to hold yourself as steady and as still as you're able to do in that right side plank. You're gonna be going to the left side, okay? Try not to come down, try to hit that double down before opening up to the other side in three, in two, and one, come down to the center, and simply open up to the other side. All right, guys, here we are. Good job, woo! So, we're getting it rocking and rolling here. You're gonna hold it there for a few more seconds. A few more seconds, guys, okay? And then we're gonna do another set of those reverse crunches. So, we're gonna give our wrists a little bit of a breather. You can go palms down, just to kind of steady and stabilize yourself, or um, hands free. All right, y'all. Let's go right into those reverse crunches in three, two, and one. Reverse crunch time, guys. Reverse crunch time. Kick it out, kick it in. Kick it out, kick it in. Wonderful job, guys. We are almost there, okay? You know the drill. Let's get ready, folks, all right? We have non-stop burpees to finish it off here, this set, guys. Okay, so continue to work those reverse crunches. We're gonna be going into non-stop burpees, y'all. Okay, so let's get ready for our non-stop burpees. In three, in two, and one. Non-stop burpee time, non-stop burpee time, non-stop burpee time, guys, come on. This is it, all the way to the finish line. Work as many burpees as you're able to commit to and complete. If you wanna add a push-up, you wanna add a tuck jump, you wanna add a plank jack, you wanna add elements of all three, make it an eight count burpee, it's entirely up to you. This is all about you guys, this is your workout. I want you guys to keep on moving, do not stop the burpees. Okay, do not stop doing those burpees. Even if you're slowing it down, that's all right. Manage your pace. 
I'll count you guys down. So you're keeping on burping, guys. Keep on keeping on. You only have five, four, three, two, one, and done. That's it. Great job, guys. I applaud you all for getting it through the warm up today. Now, go ahead. Um, hydrate yourself. Okay, it's really, really important that you do that. Pause the video here. Allow yourself a good five to seven minutes to stretch. Get your stretch on. And then when you come on back, it's time to kickbox. All right, y'all? So let's get ready and go ahead, pause it here, get your stretch on, and I'll see you with gloved up when you come on back for your kickboxing rounds. I myself, I'm gonna go out here now, grab some water, hydrate myself, and get ready to kickbox with y'all. All right, we're gonna have a great kickboxing session today, folks. Welcome back. Okay, you have your gloves on. You're gonna start it off easy enough with a double jab and a cross, guys. Jab, jab, cross to begin in three, in two, and one. Jab, jab, cross, reset. Jab, jab, cross, and back. Give you another angle. Jab, jab, cross, reset, guys. Get that pivot happening. Remember, it's all about getting that extension. Okay, they don't want you to hyperextend. You wanna get about 70 to 80% extension on your jab. Same thing with the cross, really involving your body, getting that shoulder out. We have jab, jab, cross, reset. Jab, jab, cross, and back, y'all. Keep on working that jab, jab, cross, folks, right? Here we go, keep it going. Jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. All right, y'all. You got about 20 more seconds to do your jab, jab, cross, and in the final 30 seconds of the round, I got something to throw down. Throw down my gauntlet, throw down my glove, having a little bit of fun. Guys, jab, jab, cross for eight more seconds. We're gonna be going into 10 non-stop jab cross and one burpee. When you do the burpee, it's knuckles down. I'll do that first set with you in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I jump up, I go knuckles down, I go out, I go in, I go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, knuckles down, palms facing one another. I jump out. I jump in, I jump up, guys. 10 jab cross, one burpee. You might be able to get one or two more sets in before we end the round. When I go into my plank, that signals the in-between exercise that ends the round. Gonna plank it out in three, two, one. Plank it out. You can go on the knuckles here, or if you prefer, you can plank on the elbows. Certainly fine by me. Okay, y'all, nice side. Okay, guys, great job there. Round one in the books. Hope you're having fun. And again, it's really important that you do hydrate. So if you can't do the exercises in between these shortened rounds, that's fine. But uh, if you want to, if you're up for a challenge, certainly definitely do the in between exercises. All right, guys, let's get ready. Round two in three, two, and one. Jab, okay, left uppercut, right hook, jab, reset. Jab, up, hook, jab, and back. Jab, same side, left uppercut, okay? Then a right hook, and then another jab to finish it off. Get that nice, swift, straight jab. Four punches, and then you reset. Jab, up, hook, jab, and back. Jab, up, hook, jab, reset. Okay, move around, guys. You move around, you can. You don't gotta stay in one spot. Jab, left uppercut, right hook, jab again, okay? Jab, up, hook, jab. A lot of punches here come from that lead hand the left hand, where you south falls out there, that can kind of switch it and flip it, great. Um, keep on working, so guys, jab, left up, right hook, jab, one more time. Halfway through the round, here we are guys, keep on working it, jab, up, hook, jab, reset, jab, up, hook, jab, and back, y'all. Keep those hands up, keep them up, keep them up. With about 30 seconds remaining, jab, left uppercut, right hook, and jab again, All right, folks? Woof. Nice job, y'all. Keep on working and stay busy, stay active. Jab up, hook, and jab. Yes. All right. Keep on, guys. Keep on keeping on. We're almost there. We are almost there. Jab up, hook, jab. Now, um, in between, I'll tell you all now before the round ends, it's a right side plank. You can go with the knuckles down or you can go on the elbow. Okay, right side, right arm down. In three. Two and one. Here we go, guys. You're doing the right side plank with the glove on. On the knuckles, you can do it this way or simply keep it up this way. 
whatever's easier for you guys. Keep those hips up and off your floors. Kind of just engage your core. Take a nice deep breath in between. All right, so we're gonna be getting into working some legs in our next round. You got about 10 more seconds to hold that right side plank, guys. Do your best, keep it up. If you wanna drop it down and get ready for the next round a little bit earlier, you can. But try to hang in there until I tell you. All right, guys, up on your feet. Let's get ready for round number three. Jab, cross, jab, up, and then front kick, front kick. All right, guys, so jab, cross, jab, right uppercut, and then one, tap the floor, two, left front kick. Jab, cross, jab, up, one, two, come on back. Jab, cross, jab, up, one, two, left front kicks. Go back to my stance, reset and repeat. Four punches, two kicks, jab, cross, jab, right uppercut. Come back to your stance for not one, but two left front kicks. Reset to your stance, deep breath and repeat. Jab, cross, jab, up, double left front. Jab, cross, jab, up, double left front front kick y'all okay we're about halfway through the round okay for all the rounds and basically for all the workouts that you do no matter what it is that you do just get into a rhythm get into a groove and do what you can do in the time given it's all any of us can do guys jab cross jab right up double left front kick all right keep that going less than 30 seconds remaining guys and it's easy enough i'll tell you guys what you're doing in between you did a right side elbow plank or knuckle plank, as I sometimes call it. Uh, in between, we're gonna work the left side. All right, guys, so in the meantime, jab, cross, jab, up, double, left front kick. Keep on working it, guys. We got that left side plank on deck. And that's happening in three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Left side, stay up, guys, this way, or you can do the left side elbow plank. Either way, you're keeping your hips up and off your floor. All right, guys, so working on that left side, hold that plank, challenge yourself. Man, these rounds are flying, okay, guys? We are up to round number four, okay? So we're halfway through your kickboxing rounds for today. Guys, keep holding that left side plank just a few more seconds, all right, y'all? Just hold it there for a few more seconds. As we get ready, y'all, round number four in three, two and one here we go jab up hook right knee and super punch all right guys here we go so jab right uppercut left hook i bring my right knee up one time for my right knee i bring it up again but i hop off my left foot and extend with my right arm for that super punch so okay guys okay so it is jab right up left hook right knee and then again but this time you're ending in that super punch right it is jab right up left hook right knee and then right superman okay guys on this side jab right up left hook my right knee comes up and then it comes up again i hop off my left slightly i'm not looking for some big height okay just get that little hop and land with that superman punch guys or superwoman. woman halfway through the round jab right up left hook right knee and then super punch y'all woof okay 40 seconds remaining guys jab right up left hook right knee and right super if you don't feel comfortable jumping you can come up again and then land like that see my standing leg didn't come we can work on that in further classes all right guys so jab right up left hook right knee right super punch y'all woof keep on working it here guys now again the next exercise you can do they're plank jacks Go knuckles down, elbows down, one leg at the same time, one leg at a time. Keep on working it, guys. Keep on working it here. Plank jack time in three, two, one. Here we go, guys, on the knuckles. Okay, that ends your round four. You can go both legs out at the same time. You can go one leg at a time. You can go from the elbow plank position. Okay, both legs or one at a time. Woo! All right, guys, round five on the horizon. You're either Working those plank jacks, grabbing some water, toweling off, changing the song, whatever it is you're doing, let's be productive here in the in-between round time as round five is fast approaching. Okay guys, finish up, finish up, finish up. Let's go, fight guard stance, round five in three, two, one, cross, left hook, right hook, left knee, right front. Okay guys, real simple. So I want that cross into your left hook, into your right hook, Okay, bring my right foot forward. I go into my left knee. 
I step down and finish it with the right front kick, all right? Cross, hook, hook, knee, and front kick. Right, left, right, left, right. Just alternate, guys, starting with that right side. Cross, hook, hook, knee, and front kick. Cross, hook, hook, knee, and front kick, guys. Cross, left hook, right hook, left knee, into your right front kick. Woof! All right, guys, keep on working it here, y'all. We're well into the round, about halfway through. All right, folks, cross, hook, hook, knee, and front kick. Over here, cross, hook, hook, knee, and front kick. Over here, cross, hook, hook, knee, and front kick. I can do it, you can do it. I believe in you guys. 30 seconds remaining in the round. Cross, hook, hook, knee, and front kick. Cross, hook, hook, knee, and front kick, y'all. Woof! Okay, one more in between round exercise coming up, y'all. Keep on working it. Cross hook hook, knee front kick, cross hook hook, knee and front kick, y'all. Okay, we're gonna finish strong. We're gonna finish strong here, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're gonna be getting into our last in between exercise. Simply enough, jumping jacks in three, two, and one. Jumping, jack it out. Woof! All right, guys, you've made it. Last and final round, about to go down. Okay, really, really simple. Okay, uh, let's make a double front kick sandwich. You'll see what I mean. Okay, guys, so you're either doing the jumping jacks, doing what you gotta do in between the rounds. Round six, last and final kickboxing round coming up in about 10 seconds. Hope you're enjoying this class as much as I'm enjoying bringing it to y'all. All right, so hurry up, finish up whatever it is you're doing. Fight guard stance in three, two, and one. Last and final round, double right front kick. Jab, cross, jab, cross, double, left front kick, reset, repeat. Double, right front kick, jab, cross, jab, cross, double, left front kick, reset, repeat. One more time, double, right front kick, jab, cross, jab, cross, double, left front kick, here we go. Just give you another angle. Double, right front kick, jab, cross, jab, cross, double, left front kick, reset, repeat, y'all. Okay, almost there. Last and final round. Double right front kick, four alternating jab cross, double left front kick, deep breath, reset and repeat. Less than a minute remaining, but save some energy, guys. We do have a speed round that you all are gonna complete at the end of this round. So again, double right front kick, jab cross, jab cross, double left front kick, reset, repeat. Double right front kick, jab cross, jab cross, Double left front kick, reset, repeat, y'all. Woof! Nice job, everybody. We're almost there, we're almost done. Okay, 30 seconds remaining in the round. Double right front kick, jab cross, jab cross, double left front kick. Whew. Take a deep breath, guys. Yes, all right, guys, so speed round is fast approaching, so you're working this final combination, doing as many repetitions as you can of your double right front kick, jab cross, jab cross, double left front kick, okay? Make sure you kick, tap, kick, tap. That's the rhythm I wanna you guys to get into when you're doing your double front kicks. Okay, folks, speaking of double front kicks, double left, double right in three, two, one, double left, double right, double left, double right. That's your speed round, guys. Come on, let's go. Double left front kick, double right front kick, double left front kick, double your right front kick, double your kicks, double your fun, double that leg work, double left front kick, double right front kick, double left front kick, double right front kick, double left and double right, guys. Come on, we're almost there. Less than 10 seconds remaining. Keep it moving, guys. Whether you're going fast or slow, this is the speed round. Get as many in as you can. Double left, double right, double left, double right. In three, two, one. Woo! All right, great job, guys. But wait, there's more. Go ahead, remove your gloves. We've got one final bit of conditioning to do. Two exercises, 30 seconds a piece, okay? We're doing them two times. So, we're gonna work push-ups and hollow holds. That's it, guys. So, everybody in the position now. Take a deep breath, non-stop push-ups in three, two, and one. As many push-ups as you can manage. Okay, you can do the regular, you can do wide arms. You can do however many you like, Spider-Mans, diamonds, if you have to. Again, from the knee or the toe, it is push-up time. All right, guys? 
With that being said, I'm gonna let you guys have a little bit of a breather in between. It's a hollow hold. Okay guys, so we're gonna get ready. Get as many more push-ups in as you can. Get ready to flip it over for your hollow hold in three, in two, and one. Hollow hold time, woo! Okay, take a little breather here, guys. If you gotta bring your knees in, you can, but I prefer you guys leave those legs straight out as far extended as you can. Okay, for y'all who wanna do it more, okay, do it a third time, maybe a fourth time. It's just push-ups and hollow hold for 30 seconds a piece. Okay, guys, that's it, real simple. So, we're gonna get ready. You're gonna flip it over. You're gonna do one more set of your push-ups in three, two, one. Flip it over, guys. Back to your push-ups. Okay, I like to sometimes, you know, stagger. Okay, that's another variation you can do. Up to you, y'all. So, work those push-ups. Enjoy yourself, guys. Push-ups are not the enemy. All right, folks. Being sedentary is, guys. So keep on moving. Work your push-ups. All right, folks. Here we go, less than 10 seconds, and then it's hollow hold time for the final time, if you're only doing this the two times that we're doing it. In three, two, one, hollow hold. Woo! All right, guys, you made it, hang in there. Try not to bring those knees in here. Try to keep those legs extended as far as possible. Shoulder blades stay up. If you're gonna do it a third time, it's just push-ups for 30 seconds, hollow hold for 30 seconds. Do as many more as you like. Okay, but for today's workout, you're only staying in your hollow hold for just a few more seconds. As a matter of fact, it's only five, four, three, two, one. Okay, legs down, guys. Great job on that workout today. Thanks for joining me. Make sure, guys, you do hydrate. If you're doing it a third time or fourth time, push-ups and hollow holds, 30 seconds apiece. Okay, guys. Allow yourself time once this video is over to give yourself a good cool down stretch. Remember, it's about five to seven minutes. Okay, but before I let you guys go today, let's all end the class together. Three, two, one, two bangs and a clap. Three, two, one. Great job, kickboxers. I'll see you next time.